So coming back to the brass, we also had uh, the addition of two woodwind, uh, contrabassoon and bass clarinet. An it, interesting idea yeah. that um, we discussed with Matt Slater, the orchestrator. Yeah. What we wanted was this really punchy low end mm. was really, really important to us. So you wrote that way. Yeah. And we said, well, how could we enhance that? So we had some discussions. The first thing was to have the addition of the chimbasso, yeah. which gives a really punchy low end. And you have the chimbasso in conjunction with the tuba, and you get the roundness of the tuba and the impact of the chimbasso, and it makes for a great low end. Yeah. And then we went further down that low end route, and we thought, well, how about contrabassoon and bass clarinet? It's all about the beginning of the yeah. notes, you know, Absolutely. the actual punch at the very beginning that's so important for Fast and Furious Absolutely. Crossroads. So we added two woodwind players to all the brass sessions and that was a very effective technique. I'd never done it before but I was really glad the way it worked out. It was brilliant. I was so delighted with the sound because it kind of it added weight, it added certain roundness as well, I think. Yeah. And if I can describe it in those terms to the players. But I think when the players hear the score and hopefully the soundtrack, the brass sound is full of gravity as well as impact in it. It yes. has this really interesting fullness that That's sometimes right. it's you not, don't get. Yeah, yeah, it's not only about the punch. Yeah. It's all about, you know, yeah. the uh, rich low tone of yeah, these instruments exactly. that sustain through key points in the game as much as the you know, yeah, the exactly. impact and stuff. So, you know, you've, you've always got to be looking at developing these ideas in, in terms of your choice of instrumentation, but also in terms of the orchestration, the way Matt Slater handles what you've written. And also within my job to actually take the performance as it is and try and identify what the key elements are within that and highlight those. So there will be subtle balancing going on between the low end and the middle perhaps, or the, the horns and the woodwind, and that all adds to the cumulative effect as well. That's, that's sometimes stuff that can't necessarily be specifically notated. It's just something that you can improve during the course of the session. I think coming back to how we work together, you and I and Matt Slater, the three of us, as well as Jake, on the day and you know, in uh, preparing the session, yeah, yeah, um, it, it really is a collaborative effort. We discussed the nature of the score, what we wanted to achieve. Matt made suggestions, you made suggestions. We were together, the four of us, in a sense, were, yeah, it's very much a team this. thing, yeah. Thanks so much, Andy. That's that's brilliant. It's it's always, always a pleasure to see a you, mate. Great pleasure it's always to a pleasure. work with you. Yeah. Always. Yeah. And uh, and let's go out sailing soon. Yeah. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>